I'm a big believer in AI. In my opinion, it's a genuine tool that can help you do everything better. And even simple apps like document processors can benefit from this. One example is this software, UPDF. Here, let me show you. I'll open a pretty important top secret document. And look, as soon as I select some text there, I get a prompt where I can use some AI features. Like I can easily translate that selected text to any other language and add that as a note. I can use the summarize feature to instantly convert this you know, paragraph into bullet points. And as you can see, it's a lot faster than something like Adobe AI. And by the way, I don't think Adobe AI can do this. You know, you can't select a paragraph of text and only process that. UPDF can handle huge documents up to 1000 pages, which is not something Adobe or any other tool can easily do, especially with these AI features. Of course, I can annotate and leave comments, but I can also edit this document right here. You can edit the text and you can also change the clickable area for those hyperlinks. As you may have noticed, the UI is pretty responsive throughout the thing. Of course, I can export this into a whole bunch of formats, you know, Word, PowerPoint, in case I want to turn this into a presentation or something, but actually there is a present presentation mode right here. I can present like this or I can even share a link so they can open it themselves. That's pretty convenient rather than sending an attachment over email back and forth. It even has an OCR reader built in, you know, it's a plugin that you install and it'll essentially extract text from the images in your PDF. However, I have to give some feedback here. It's not super intuitive to do so. Like you have to go through all these settings and stuff. I wish this was a little more simple. I understand that PDF isn't exactly the most friendly format to work with, but I wish it was a little more seamless, like the Power Toys feature Windows has that can read the text on screen. But obviously it can only work on a short area. If you have a huge document with tons of text on images, then this will definitely help. And it's pretty accurate as you can see. It'll easily recognize text and you can do the same transformations as before. And you may have noticed how nicely it edits PDFs. Like you can change all the individual elements and move them around if you wish. But if you have a PDF with a bunch of forms like this, you know, if you're trying to fill up a PDF, you can easily do that with this prepare form option. You can see that there's an option to highlight all the fillable fields. And if you want, you can scan the entire PDF once again and boom, it'll convert all of those fields into these kind of text forms. Now, if you're the one preparing that PDF for someone, it allows you to set some rules. You can specify what kind of text it takes. You can even set mouse triggers, which is pretty elaborate. But if you're just filling up data to submit to somewhere, you can do that as well. See how easy that was, right? You don't have to like position a text field or something. You just click on it and type. There's also a redaction feature. So if you are like submitting a sensitive document like a government ID for say an address verification purpose, you don't actually have to show everything, right? So you can redact certain information from that PDF. And once you save it, it's actually redacted. Like there's nothing underneath it. Look, I can even go to edit option and I see nothing there. So it's an actual privacy feature. You know, no one can edit that PDF and find out your personal redacted info. You can even set a password, not only for the entire doc, but also for a permission. Like if you want people to read this doc, but not edit that, you can set a edit password. That way only people with password can edit this document. And I know Notice that in the save options, there's even a reduce file size feature. So it can compress this PDF, maintaining quality as much as possible. Now for small PDFs like this one, it's not a big deal. But suppose you have a larger one, which is like say 10, 20, 30 MB. Like for example, this PDF is pretty large. Let's try and compress that and see how much data we can retain. Now if you want to go absolutely crazy, you can reduce it by more than 10 times. And this is the result you get. Yeah, I can notice some quality drop in the images there, but this is 10 times smaller. Remember that. But there's a near lossless compression feature here as well. And you can do that by selecting the maximum option. And now look at the file difference. This one's only 2 MB, which is five times smaller than the original file. But look at the quality. I can't really tell the difference between the original 10 MB and this one. Maybe in a few areas if I'm looking for it at like 400% zoom. But who uses PDFs like that? No one really zooms in this much and compares side by side, right? And this tool has a pretty easy to use organizer window as well. You can see that you can move the pages around. You can extract a specific page if you wish. Like if you found a large PDF and you want to extract a single page out of it, you can do that. See how fast it was, right? No need to share an entire PDF and ask them to go to page 9. Just share page 9. Or if you're editing a PDF and you want to replace a certain page with another, you can do so without 
converting that PDF to something else. And bam, just like that, it's done. Are you noticing how quickly this responds? I don't think I've seen another tool with these features. I mean, you can even change the orientation of a page and it all works instantly within a click. There's no lag. And right now, UPDF is celebrating its second anniversary. So you can grab a great discount on this from the link in the description. You can see it's been in the work for a long time. So they've announced a lot of new features. Now you don't need a separate reader and a separate editing tool and a separate AI summarizer. This is all of that in one package, which you can try for free now. So check the link in the pinned comments and tell me how often do you work with documents on a weekly basis.